All right, so Pops Executive Marshal Zellinger is coming back, doing double duty today to make us smarter about what's going to happen in the state legislature that starts mm -hmm. tomorrow, the session. So we've talked about the, the not-so-secret way of running Colorado politics, which is that you pass the super controversial stuff yeah. right after you get elected, mm -hmm. and then the year going into the next election, that's when it's all bipartisan, hold hands, kumbaya, rainbows, unicorns, puppies. <laughs> that's the way it has been in the past. I'm not sure if it's all going to be like that, but it's more likely to be like that because you are going to run for re-election sure. in November and you don't want to have to justify why you had a bill or voted a certain way. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's not what's going to really be uh, pushing everything this year. There's one bill that I thought would be the most major bill would be the paid family leave. It failed mm -hmm. last year. Businesses didn't like it. Employees didn't like it. You're both going to have to pay out of your paycheck or to, to fund something that if you want to leave work to go to school, to watch your kid do something you're going to have to fund it. That's not Senate Bill number one, which was the big thing. Senate Bill number one is about behavioral health training for teachers. And we heard mm -hmm. about this uh, this previous year during the uh, off-session uh, um, school safety committee. Teaching teachers to identify behavioral problems in K through 12 schools came out of that committee. And that committee determined the number one issue for school safety is more education for teachers to know when behavior is becoming a danger. To get this training, it's like a, a trainer trainer model. So they'll go get the training and they'll go back to their school district and they'll build the capacity to make sure that all front life folks that touch teachers, uh, touch kids, get the training they need to uh, identify red flags. The number one issue for Republicans, at least in the Senate, might also be your number one issue, roads. Voters said no to a ballot issue in November, CC, that would fund some road projects. Senate Republicans want the same $300 million from the general fund that went to roads last year. They won't support going to voters for more money. They don't want to see any new taxes. They don't want to see an income tax. They don't want to see a sales tax. Um, the closest thing that they might approve, which I still think they would not, is a gas tax. And we should reiterate, Democrats have control. They don't need a single Republican vote to pass anything unless they lose some of their own members due to public pressure or a change of mind on something. Or maternity leave, like Senator Brittany Pedersen uh, is going to be for half the session without her vote. Some of the controversial stuff may have to wait. A lot tighter. All right. Thank you, Marshall.